Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing the flicker transition effect in CyberLink PowerDirector 11 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Now this effect is one that you see in a lot of music videos today. You'll see a singer or a rapper in one scene and then you'll see a flicker between two different scenes and then it'll transition to the new scene where the singer or rapper is doing their thing in a different scene or location or whatever. You can also use this for like pretending you're going back in time or moving forward in time, going to a different place, whatever. It's a pretty cool effect. I'm going to show you just how to get it done. First things first, you need to pull your first clip down into the timeline. You need to put it on track one because this is the track where everything will be happening first and you want to make sure that everything in this track is visible in the first scene. Then you want to pull the next video clip down into time into the timeline on track two. And you want to make sure that you sync up your music. Okay, if you got two different scenes of singing music, make sure that they're synced up exactly at the right location so that when the drum roll or the dynamic sound happens, it happens in both clips at the exact same time. Now you want to place the second video clip right where the drum roll or dynamic sound starts at. So you need to stretch out your timeline to get it exactly on to where that drum roll starts or whatever. Then do that. If you don't, then you're good to go where you're at. You need to click on the track and timeline in track one, the clip in track one, excuse me. And right where this position is where the drum roll starts you want to split this clip now you need to move your scrubber to the position where the drum roll or the dynamic sound stops and this time you want to split both clips so you want to click on anywhere where there's nothing and it will make sure that neither one of the tracks is selected and when you hit on split it's going to actually split both of them so you don't need this second part here on the first track because remember you're transitioning from this clip to this clip. So you don't need this back end. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to click on remove. And it's out of here. Gone. Vamos. No mas. Now this little section here and this little section here is where the flickering will be taking place. And the way that you get that look is first and foremost you want to go to the video on track one you want to click it to select it you want to go to modify and you want to go to opacity so opacity makes it more uh, see-through or transparent so we're going to move this to 50 and then we're going to click save and we also want the transitioning clip, the clip that we're transitioning to, to be opaque as well. So we're going to left click on it to select it. And we're going to go to modify. We're going to go to opacity again. And this time we're going to make our opacity 75. And then we're going to click save. Now, in order to make the flicker, we need to actually remove some of the clips on track two. We're going to leave track one as it is just like that with it being opaque like it is but we're going to make some changes to this little section on track two. We want to stretch out our timeline by left clicking up in the section where you have the numbers at a time and moving to the right. Left click and hold and move it to the right We want to do that until our timeline is stretched to the maximum. And once we have it stretched out to the maximum, what we want to do is we want to go back to the beginning of this sec of the clip on the track two. And we want to step through about three frames and split it. So make sure that only this one selected by left clicking on it and then go to the next frame button 
and we're going to move it three frames. One, two, three. And we're going to split it. We're going to continue to do that until we get to the end of this little section. Now that we have all our splits, what we need to do is go to the second clip that we created, hold down the control key, and go to every other clip and left click it. Once we've done that, you want to right click on any of them, go to remove and leave gap. And you are done. When you play this back, you will see a wonderful flicker effect. Now it's still kind of rendering so it might not look as smooth right now, but once you produce it, it will look very smooth and you'll see the flicker to the next scene just like you saw in the demo at the beginning of the video and that's it the flicker transition effect is Sabine Power Director 11 Ultimate do me a favor you know what I'm going to ask you to do so you might as well do it before I even ask alright with a thumb at the bottom of this video top of the video wherever the heck YouTube moved it to I don't know look for the freaking thumb the one that's pointed in the upward direction click it like it live it love it hug it leave me your comments I always get back to you if I can't help you I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need and last but definitely not least don't you ever forget to subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you again soon